Happy New Year! I'm Greg Lake and you're watching the only online TV program with proven strategies that grow highly profitable manufacturing companies. Today we cover, cover another key business strategy, this one on automation that's forever green. In addition, did you ever need a new tool that was for, well, just because? Finally, the latest recipient of the Forever Green Manufacturing Award who named their printers in order to reduce their paper usage. It's a great idea and one that you can use as part of your paperless strategy to kick off 2012. Welcome to Forever Green Manufacturing TV. In the last episode, I mentioned one aspect of scaling your organization is to automate as much as possible. With that in mind, I'm going to switch the focus of this next group of episodes to the topic of automation. We'll talk about how to automate, automate and what not to do. Let's talk about a concept that I've trademarked called Simple Autopilot Robotic Automation. Now what do I mean by that? Well, let's start with simple. Everything should be made easier, a point I covered in the last episode. Autopilot means that it should run by itself without any manual effort, like a plane running on autopilot. Robotic automation is as it sounds. When you put a robotic device in your shop, it automates the laborious, mindless, and sometimes drudgerous, drudgerous tasks that people do. The great thing about robotic automation is it easily handles tasks that people don't have time to do and does them with consistency and accuracy 24 hours a day, 365 days a year. Let's put simple autopilot robotic automation to work by highlighting an example. The easiest way to illustrate the power is to show how DocTrack handles processing of customer order acknowledgements inside of Sightline. Now stay with me here as I'm going to slow down so you don't get lost in how much work there is to do. Here goes. Your user selects a range of acknowledgements to send out and presses the process button. That's it. It's just that simple. Here's what the autopilot robotic automation within DocTrack does. DocTrack gathers the quote and all the relevant documents that need to be provided to the customer. These could be specification documents, terms and conditions, a copy of your customer's purchase order, or other documents. It organizes and combines all the necessary documents into a single PDF file. DocTrack names the PDF file with a smart naming convention. The folder where the file is stored is a smart folder on your network that's created if it doesn't exist, including all the necessary subfolders. Next, DocTrack links the PDF document back to the Sightline customer order so the paperless document is instantly available to anyone that needs that information while viewing that order in Sightline. The PDF is sent to the customer via email, fax, or print depending upon how your customer wishes to receive acknowledgments. When emailed, DocTrack uses a high quality personalized template that's complete with clickable links to introduce other products to the customer, communicate new capabilities, register for upcoming events, etc. Merge fields on the email template substitute the name of the contact, the order number, and other information that's unique to that order to make it more professional and personal. Each acknowledgement is handled and routed uniquely even though a group of them were being processed all at the same time. And what about the user that printed the acknowledgements in the first place? Well, they could have left for the day, be in a meeting, or doing other work rather than dealing with paper documents. Compare this on how you handle your customer order acknowledgements in your company. Then think about every other outbound document you process, like invoices, statements, quotes, purchase orders, and the list goes on. And I'm sure you'll see that simple autopilot robotic automation is a strategy aided with the use of technology that will allow your company to scale significantly. Simple autopilot robotic automation will absolutely transform the speed and accuracy as well as the volume of your business your company can handle and it should be part, a part of your overall automation strategy. It's the single greatest element in accelerating the velocity of doing business while lowering your cost 
and taking your staff's efficiency to a level it's never seen before. Do this as I've done in my business and you will be forever green. Hey there, welcome back to Confessions of a Workaholic. Well, it's January 2012, and when it's cold and miserable outside, nothing like doing inside projects. The project I'm working on now at the cabin are my kitchen cabinets. They're made of hickory, which is a very hard work wood to work with, but don't they look great? As you probably noticed, the upper cabinets aren't, are missing doors. That's my winter project for this year. Initially, I built and installed the lower cabinets, Yes, I did say build. I started with from scratch using rough sawn lumber, and like everything I do, I never made a plan or a drawing. It kind of comes to me as I go along. Well, anyway, when the lower cabinets were finished, I had to make sure they were level for the countertops. For some countertops, it's not that important as shims can be added where needed. In my situation, I wanted to use granite countertops, and since they're extremely heavy, my intent was to have the top supported by as much of the cabinet as possible without focusing weight on tiny little shims. That's no easy task as I build them in individual pieces in the basement. When finished, my wife Debbie and I haul them up the steps and hope everything assembles together in the kitchen. To level them, it's a trick. You have to get a very long level, but that's not always the most accurate way to level them. I could have always used the big laser level from episode three that I used to put up the decks, ah, but that seemed like overkill. So, hmm, what's a guy to do? I came up with a perfectly good solution. Go out and buy another tool. And here's what I found. A new laser level. This thing is great. It displays a perfectly horizontal line or a vertical line or if you're looking to both level and plumb your project, it displays a set of crosshairs. All I had to do was set the laser on a table, turn on the horizontal level. From that line, we checked the level of the floor. Needless to say, it was absolutely perfect. Thank you so much to the builders who put up the floor joists. If I've learned one thing while trying these building projects, if the base isn't right, everything else will be that much more difficult. With the floor being level, it's time to set the, our cabinets. There were four pieces, two which had to be assembled together. That was a concern as one was a corner cabinet that was assembled with the sink cabinet. They were built separately, and if these two didn't fit together, it was back to the basement to rebuild at least one of them. Fortunately, with some glue, wood screws, a lot of clamps, and a few choice words, everything fit together pretty well. Found out that my challenge was that the intersection of the kitchen walls at the back corner of the cabinet carries a little bit more plaster than the rest of the walls, and I didn't take that, that into account. With a little sanding, all was good. Time to cross your fingers and check them out with a laser. Well, what can I say? They were perfect. When the countertop guys came in, they did no shimming at all. Everything fit together great. In my eyes, that little laser level paid for itself right then and there. However, I found a lot of other uses for the laser. It actually worked very well when I built the steps off the covered porch. It made it easy to figure out the overall drop so I could calculate the height of the steps. This laser works so well, it's become one of my favorite tools. Isn't technology great? Today, we present another Forever Green Manufacturing Award to a company that uses the Lake Company's Dock Track, Shop Track, and Enterprise Analytics applications to improve their business and protect the environment. This award goes to Poblaki Sign Company, who uses all three products to, to dramatically cut costs, save time, and revolutionize the way they do business. Ron Wisniewski, Vice President of Finance and Administration, told us, our job folders for government jobs could get up to 12 inches thick. That didn't include copies of documents and drawings maintained at every work center required by the job. People had to search for documents, wondering if an original got taken out of a folder and left on someone's desk. We had paper everywhere and it impacted everyone from admin to those on the shop floor. Imagine how hard it is to maintain paper folders 
when any of hundreds of people in the organization needed to see a document while at the same time trying to manage revisions? Well, maybe some of you are living that same life every single day. What Pablaki Sign did was organize their files and link them with DocTrack to relevant information in Sightline. That eliminated the massive paper folders. It also gave everyone in the office instant access to information, including documents that needed to be scanned. Next, they used ShopTrack for paperless dispatch information. From the visual dispatch displayed on 42-inch monitors, production personnel knew real-time what to produce. With necessary DocTrack drawings and documents just to click away, the shop now had what they needed without paper. Ron said, we haven't added any more job folders for over 18 months. Many of the old file cabinets now stand empty. I can't begin to imagine how much time and effort that saved. However, one of the most rewarding benefits Ron mentioned was their ability to service their clients. He said, in the past, a, a call from a client meant putting them on hold and running for information. Now it's just a click away. We're far more responsive to our clients as a result. Enterprise Analytics has provided Poblaki with paperless analysis of sightline information, ridding them of the old practice of creating and modifying reports. Analysis is fast and easy and paperless. Since 1932, Poblaki Sign Company has grown to become one of the world's foremost architectural sign fabricators. Poblaki has three facilities with headquarters in Milwaukee, Wisconsin, six sales offices located throughout the U.S., and fabrication in Milwaukee, Raleigh, North Carolina, and Omaha, Nebraska. In their nearly 80-year history, there isn't much they haven't seen and successfully done in both interior and exterior corporate signage. Pablaki provides design, fabrication, and installation services to meet any signage requirements. Their interior division manufactures signs that help direct people without confusion through business and institutional facilities as well as providing identification signage. The exterior division manufactures complete signage for a vast array of businesses, institutions, and industry. To learn more about Poblaki, go to their website at www.poblaki.com. Close to my heart, Poblaki made an exterior signage for the Harley Davidson Museum in Milwaukee, Wisconsin. And yes, for those of you who are Harley fans, I do have a Harley Ultra Classic that I love to ride. Congratulations and a special thank you to everyone at Poblaki Sign Company. This is an excellent example of how leveraging technology can improve business as well as the environment. This award is well deserved. A very clever idea was shared by Poblaki Sign Company. They came up with a way to remember Poblaki's paperless goal by renaming all of the company's printers to a different kind of tree. So if someone was going to print on the Aspen printer, they were instantly aware this was impacting the environment. What a great idea, and thank you, Poblaki, for sharing it. I hope you enjoyed this episode. As always, feel free to post your comments below. I look forward to seeing them. If you have a story of, that you'd like to share, I'd be proud to promote your company as the next Forever Green Manufacturing Award winner. Send me an email at glake at lakeco.com and tell me about how your company uses any one of our products. To start the year 2012 off, I'd like to wish you all a very happy and prosperous new year. I'm your host, Greg Lake. On behalf of the entire staff of the Lake Companies, thank you for watching.